Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're continuing on with my preparations for my second year in electrical engineering. And in the last video, we reviewed my year, the first year, and how I think I did. So now we're going to take a slight glance ahead forward at the modules that I'm due to be studying next year. So later on in this series, in a couple of videos, we will take a deeper dive into these modules. But for now, we're just going to take an overview of the modules, take a look at what they're about. Just, it's a bit like, you know, when you're going on a holiday, you got your flight booked in two weeks time. So you go on YouTube and you search, you watch some videos on what the markets are like in Marrakesh or what it's like in Singapore or whatever, wherever you're going. It's a bit like that. I don't want to, like, I'm not actually going into these modules now and studying them. I just want to take a look at what it is I'm going to be studying. So just to, as a way to prepare my mind. So I'm due to start, university on the 5th of October so I've got about three weeks to go so I'm going to start getting my mind ready for the modules that I'm due to start and get my mind away from the modules that I did last year what we're going to do is we're going to get the list of all the modules that I'm due to study I'm going to get the official description from the university then basically write down what it is that they're telling me that the module is about and then thirdly I'm going to give each module Google and see the type of topics that are discussed or taught at other universities or just what people have to say about that module. We'll go onto my university website, click on modules, and then I've got a list of all my modules here. This so this list of modules includes the modules from last year. Let's um we've got a year. So if you don't know what this is, this this app is called Notion. Uh Google it or take a look on YouTube. Ali Abda has some nice videos on it as well. So I use Notion for all of my studies stuff. Right, so create a new page, call it modules, overview, let's put in here. Yeah. And I'm going to copy them all in, and then I just need to get rid of all the modules that are my first year modules. All right, now the great thing about Notion is, as you can see, I've copied these all in. So now when I click on the module, it will actually take me to my university website's page for that module, which is really cool very very handy all right so here's the list of my modules i have one so six of them embedded systems elect electrical and electronic principles two communication systems instrumentation and control engineering design project two analog electronics so these two engineering design project and electrical principles two these two they're just the second part of what i've already studied in first year so i did the engine design project one which was the azura robot and then now i'm moving on to it i believe it's a lego robot and then principles two i'm just expanding on you know v equals ir or um ohm's law and circuit analysis so these two i don't need to do any any more research into them i know what i'm going to be doing with those two so it's these four new modules which i don't know anything about all right, so let's take a look at the official university description. Um, I believe we're going to go Leeds, Beckett, Electrical, Engineering. Here we go. Yeah, so it should be on the prospectus list of all the modules. There we go. So that's my year one modules, the so year two, and then they've got the official description. So let's copy and paste these in. Analog Electronics. Right, uh, communication systems, okay, um, embedded systems, and instrumentation and control. So I literally have no idea what these modules are about. This is actually the first time I've properly looked at the list, so this is good. All right, so I'm confident with these two modules. Not concerned at all about these two because, like I said, I'm just building upon what I've already studied. So let's take a look at embedded systems. So you're learning to program and interface embedded systems i hate when they use the word to define a word that's what's confusing okay so learn to program and interface embedded systems to adapt to them for a variety of purposes such as medical systems food monitoring systems vision systems and automotive systems all right so that's a blag i mean obviously that just that's just a bunch of key that's that's just like keyword stuffing all right, I assume from that that I'm basically going to be programming microcontrollers. 
That's what that sounds like to me, right? Okay, all right, that's fine. Let's skip that. So, communication systems investigate the principles and applications of modern communication systems from satellite to wireless systems. Investigate the principles and applications of modern from satellite to wireless systems. You examine real world case studies in order to develop scientific engineering and mathematical knowledge. Okay, so they kind of told you there that you're going to be doing a lot of math. Okay, I don't really know. What, I, I'm assuming that that's going to have to do with waves. Like, yeah. That's what, that, that's what. Okay, so let's write down what pops to mind and we'll see. Let's put initial thoughts. Um, see programming microcontrollers. That's what that sounds like to me, right? Okay, so here this sounds like uh, waves. <laughs> what kind of waves? Communication waves? I don't know. All right, instrumentation and control. Apply the theory of device control in a, ver in a variety of systems. We we'll investigate the theory, properties, and fundamentals of control systems. We we'll research the variety of sensors and actuators that are used within control systems and program devices using control strategies and selected sensors and actuators. Okay, so that sounds like I'm going to be using devices and building circuits, kind of. You can see here, like, uh, like I said, I don't, I really don't even know. This is the same thing that happened to me in my first year when I started. I had no idea what each one of the, the various different modules were going to be about. So this is why it's, I find it to be very useful to do this exercise. Okay, so device control. Something to do with controlling devices. Okay. The theory, properties, and fundamentals of control systems. Okay, so what are the fundamentals of a control system? I mean, how fundamental are we talking? Are we talking at a digital electronics level? I assume one abstract level higher than that. Yeah, I don't really know. What would, what would my initial thoughts be? Um, I don't know. I've done lots of theory about device control. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense to me. Okay. Analog electronics. Enhance your proficiency in analyzing and developing simple analog electronics. Okay, so that to me is building circuits and testing them that's what that sounds like to me okay so i think it's fair to say for me the official university description of each module is rubbish i have no confidence that i know what these three i mean that kind of definitely instrumentation and control and communication systems yeah i don't really know okay so let's give let's google each one so what is embedded? Well, let's put embedded systems. There you go, electrical engineering. We've got a stack exchange one. Uh, we in approach with a job for writing embedded C on microcontrollers. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, if you want to be good at working on embedded systems, I guess you need to think like an EE sum of van. This is generally when you're writing code to interface with various peripherals, like serial buses, you are okay. Eight and sixteen bit timers, clock generators. I'm gonna guess that that's what that is. Basically, writing code to interface with the basic hardware. That sounds that sounds right to me. I mean, I, I'd actually I'm actually interested in that. Okay, let's let's check another link. But I like the sound of that. So let's put Google. We'll put it in. What is embedded system design? Embedded system module okay so this is module information this is leeds uni okay this is a master's uni all right the standard module blah 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 what well, the industry okay so this is for a master's so i don't know how useful that will be embedded system engineering same again all right okay what is an embedded system the following definition of an embedded system is based on my experience blah 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 Essential, okay, okay, prerequisites for taking this module. Advanced embedded systems. Can you see it's not easy, like, you know. Okay, syllabus, characteristics of embedded systems, computer architecture, AOU architecture, memory cache. Yeah, so I think I'm right. I'm comfortable with that. So it's C programming, the interface 
on a hardware level. You're literally programming a microcontroller. So it's going to be the, the boring side, the low level boring side of programming. Hardware. I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, all right, communication systems. Let's give that a Google. Communication electronics. This module introduces the base structure of a communication system, examines the various circuits and signal engineering. Okay. Strategies that are necessary to make a system work. The idea of a spectrum has limited resource and some of the regulatory framework that allows multiple use of spectrum without conflict. Uh, lots of jargon. The unit which aims to form a bridge between communications and electronics will include a number of case studies. Okay, so pretty much the same. Module syllabus signals and systems, analog modulation circuits, Fourier analysis. I've heard of that. Digital modulation, multiplexing, introduction to transmission lines. Nice receivers okay just like signals um google signals what was it signals systems okay and not very teaching and assessment methods of signal signal manipulation okay modulation the mathematics of modulation generation detection communication theory yes i'm right it's going to be like waves modulation systems yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm going to struggle with this because I, I can't even really get my head around what it's about. Signal manipulation, maybe I don't know. That signals, I don't know. Confusing, man. This is, this is confusing. Um, okay, core cool modules. All right, let's do this. Let's go on to YouTube and then let's do communication. What is it called? Communication systems. Okay, so there's a, there's a 31 place lecture. Fast fading and ergodic capa capacity. Flow fading, communication systems, full course. I want like just an overview. You know, we just give you a bunch of, okay, basics, need, need of modulation, modulation processes, brief and Fourier transfer. So this is basically it, but a modulation. I don't even know what these words mean. Demodulation, angle modulation, frequency modulation. Mate, zero. Uh, like, I'm completely blank. Zero. Okay, so we're going to leave it as signals. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, instrumentation and control. Try that. Instrumentation. Instrumentation and control. Just like each one of these is like its own degree. And I'm going to be taught it in like five weeks, all online, but because of COVID. Man, university is a funny, funny thing. Okay, let's try and find it. All right, so distance learning. Um, okay, well, what's this? Learners wish to instrumentation, control engineering, design, manufacturer. What? What? Okay, well, that was just like zero information. Course overview. They don't even tell you what they're actually teaching you. Instrumentation control is a field applicable. Okay, many sectors. It enables efficient and safe automatic control of large scale continuous processes, including nuclear power station. Or, okay, so it sounds like my data acquisition module, but a bit more beefed up. But it's like like dealing with real world industry um, instruments, dealing with real world. Uh, industry instrument sounds like okay well let's uh, let's take a look at these ones what i'll learn this module control design techniques space classical control design and analysis pid control and pole placement methods mate look at that it's like when you read that just look at that it doesn't even look like it's english <laughs> Oh man, instrumentation range, span, nonlinearity, hysteresis, whatever that means, resolution, aging effects, dynamic man. What's funny is that if I go back and watch this video in a year's time, I'll probably be like, what an idiot, you didn't know what that was, didn't know what that was. But I mean, this is not even English to me right now. Prerequisites, none. All right then. Don't know about that. I, need, I feel like I need a lot of prerequisites. Okay. Um. 
Okay, so my research into this right now is going terribly. So let's do analog electronics module. Oh, what's it? Yeah. Analog electronics module. It uses electric and magnetic fields. Fractional circuits. Electronic systems with, with a continuous variable signal. Yep, okay. On the core of any electronic electrical engineer. All right, interesting. Let's go. That's this is year two as well. All right, the module is designed to provide learning on the practical applications of different analog electronic circuits that device and devices are commonly used in modern electronics. All right, the four fundamental categories components that are critical for any electronics engineer. Linear devices, active passive filters, voltage regulation, reference, signal conversion. This module will present tools and techniques of use combinations of these components to create a useful analog electronic system. Professional engineers must appreciate the concept of electronic analog systems and how they interact with digital systems. Mate, again, you just you just may as well be speaking a different language. So it involves linear devices. I know what active and passive filters are. Voltage regulation, I kind of know what that is. Signal conversion. What from A, like an ADC, an analog to digital converter? Is that what we're talking about here? I assume so. Linear devices. All right, so I don't know, really know what to take away from this. Practical applications of different analog electronic circuits. Okay. Let's just say that that's what we're going to be learning. All right, so I could go on. I mean, I could continue this for another hour, but I feel like this is enough. Basically, what I've learned from this, you know, just this little exercise here, which I don't know, maybe it's, maybe I'm doing it for twenty minutes, is that two of the modules I believe I'm going, to, I'm confident in that I'll be fine. I'll probably get seventy plus percent on both of these modules, which is a first. So I'm not concerned about that. The embedded systems module seems that seems to be exciting so i'm excited for that communication systems instrumentation and control it seems like i don't know anything about them like at all so i'm gonna have to definitely focus a lot of my time in the next couple of weeks on these two systems and these two modules and then analog electronics i feel like i'm a a bit confused, but at the same time, I feel like I kind of possibly get it. So, yeah, what what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do. I was planning on looking at my current skill set and seeing how well I think I would do with this year, and maybe look to try and expose some of my weaknesses, and then try and work on those before the year starts. I think in the next video. I'm going to do a lot more research into these modules and go and do a deep dive into the modules. And then once I can tell you specifically what is involved in each module, then I'll analyze my skill set and then I'll be able to look and say, okay, I'm going to struggle here. I'm not going to struggle here. So I'm really keen to try and get, you know, a good two or three modules that, you know, I'm, I know, okay, these two modules I suck at. I'm not going to do well at. Let me try and get ahead of them. One thing to consider as well is actually I should look at when I'm going to be studying them. So let, let me actually just do that. So because of COVID, instead of it being two semesters, I, I feel like it's going to be three semesters. So let me try and find, log on to my email. Okay. So here's the email from, I believe, the Dean or Deputy Vice Chancellor. And then, okay. So there's this document which is basically tells me the modules that I'm learning. So electrical. When I'm learning them. Because that's also going to actually make a difference. Okay. So what I was looking for didn't exist in that document. That's fine. One is I'm going to just take a deeper dive and if I find it, then I will put it up on the screen for you. 
well, I just wanted to see when I'm studying each module. I don't know if that's been released yet. I feel like it had been released, but I can't see it here. Level four teaching block, blah blah blah. Level five, and then there's just no, there's nothing about how to teach it. Yeah. Okay. I don't worry about. It. That's fine. All right. So next video we'll do a deep dive into what each one of these is about. If you're due to start your second year, do the same thing. Just you know. Yeah, get a decent idea of how much you know and how much you don't know. You know, there's a lot of value in realizing how much you don't know. So don't consider I don't I definitely don't consider this to be a waste of my time. I think this has been a very valuable 20, 25 minutes. And now I feel confident with three of my modules next year and the other three, you know, I feel like I'm definitely slacking. These these three I'm concerned about. So let's do a deep dive in the next video. Cool. I'll see you next one. Peace.